Hey guys, my name is Ali and I'm a data and analytics consultant. In this video, I want to show you guys how to build a data strategy step by step. Whether you're starting from scratch or improving what you already have, having a clear strategy is essential if you want your data to drive real value. The first thing we have to understand is why do you need a data strategy? You don't want all these initiatives going on with data and analytics in a company without knowing which direction that you are going to go in. It's very easy to create these services. You know, you have Data Factory, you have Power BI, you have Databricks, DBT, all these things that you can um, um, initiate because it's a software as a service um, that is very easy to turn on. Um, but you want to make sure that you know you know why you are using these services and what kind of data are you going to get and and th there's all these moving components that uh, that uh, that will start to come into play and that's why you need a uh, a data strategy you also want to know you know you, what are your you know what are you trying to actually do with the data like i've written here um, ensure data actually creates value and also make sure that data efforts are aligned with business outcomes which means that you know, if you're trying to create a Power BI report or you're trying to get some data into Data Factory, um, you're trying to use Fabric for something, it doesn't really matter on what level you are working. In, in some way, it should come back to a strategic direction. And, and for the ones watching who are more on management side, then, then you know, this should make sense. Um, and you should have a strategy, just like you have a strategy for, for other initiatives, you, have, should, you should have the same for data. Um, but for the ones that are watching that, you know, you might work in a report or you're, you know, you're, you're a data analyst or, or BI developer, you still need to know, you know, why am I getting the data? What am I going to do with it? Who am I going to show it to? What is the purpose of, you know, creating this report or, or initiative or at whatever level it is? So, you know, we don't want all these things going on without knowing what direction it's taking. We want to make sure that there are some business outcomes that we're going to try and improve or, or support and we want to make sure that it creates value so that's the first thing that you you need to understand you know why do we need this these are some these are some of the main things that 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 supports having a data strategy in in the first place um, the first thing that's really good to do is just to define a vision and goal um, what are we trying to achieve as a organization um, what am I trying to achieve as a data analyst? What am I trying to achieve as a BI developer? What am I trying to achieve as a business controller? Uh, whichever side you are on uh, of, of the table, the technical or the business side, you should still know where am I going with this and what is my goal? What am I trying to solve? Um, so, so the second point here is what questions should data help answer? So there should be some specific questions that you have in mind that the data is going to support. Um, how many sales did we do last quarter? Who are our top salespeople? How do we? How did different uh, departments do against their budget or their forecast? Um, it can be different levels of questions, but but we need to know on different levels um, what it is that we're trying to 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 answer. Um, and then the last one is how will success and value be measured? And I think this is very important. It's just that we don't have some way to say where we want to go, but we also need to know when we get there. How do we know that we have actually gotten there um, so point number one data strategy define your vision and goals from there you need to understand where you know where are you where are we right now one thing is where we want to go or where do we where, you know what is our goal or where do we see ourselves being in x number of months or years or whatever it is before we can say something about where we want to go we have to understand where we are um, so the second point is map the current state what data do we have today? Where is it stored? More of a technical current state. Um, how is data used today? How, how are we using it? More in terms of business, culture, um, how is it being leveraged right now? You know, are we data driven, but it's more with, uh, with legacy tools or are we not? We don't have the right tools, but, but we have the ambitions and, and how is it being used in general? And, and like I said, you know, what tools and skills are already available? Um, you can have companies that, that uh, don't have the right tools technically. They're just too far behind on that. Or you can have people that have the tools, but they don't have the skills. So, so what is the current state? Where are we? Uh, something you have to find out. From there, we can go into more talking about where we want to go. What should the data platform look like in one year, two years, three years, five years? Um, you know, where do we see ourselves? 
in the future. Um, who should have access to what? Now we're more on governance. If in a perfect world we have the setup that we need in terms of technical setup and we have the skills, then, then who do we give access to what? Because everyone can't do everything. Everyone shouldn't be doing everything. Um, governance is very important in the data world and it should be a huge part of your data strategy. Um, so one thing is we have the platform where we want it to be in one year or three years. And, and, and if the platform is there, then who, who gets access to what? And, and the last one is just, what does a healthy data culture look like? And healthy here can mean that, um, you know, people have access to what they need and, and it's easy for them and there's, you know, not these bottlenecks. Um, there's, there's different ways of um, imagining your company having a healthy data culture. Um, it's part of your meetings, it's part of, um, um, of larger presentations. Um, but it's something you should think about when you're thinking about where we want to be. Um, it's easy to get caught up in the technicals, um, but also think about, you know, culture, access, um, skill sets, training. There's, there's plenty of things to think about when you describe the target state, where we want to be. Um, then it's about getting to that target state. And that's where, you know, the roadmap and prioritization comes into play. And I feel like this is something that um, a lot of you have heard about roadmaps and of course to prioritize. Um, but, but the parts before and un really understand where you are and where you want to go and, and why are we doing this is, is very important before you just jump into the roadmap and start to prioritize. The first thing to do is to break your strategy into different phases. You can have a proof of concept phase and then you can go into more, um, heavier development. You can have a training phase. There's different parts to this. Um, but, but you need to look at your roadmap as something that is, that is giving you direction and, 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 um, you know, breaks, uh, breaks tasks or, or aligns tasks with different faces that have different purposes. Um, so I've written here, focus on the most Im uh, impactful use cases first. Um, whenever you start like a, like a larger data initiative, it's, it's good to know what are your quick wins because it's going to take uh, a bit of investment. It's going to take investment technically. It's going to take investment in terms of time. And it's going to take investment in terms of patience because there can be surprises. There can be surprises in data quality, in skill set, in tools, um, you know, governance. There's many play surprises that can pop up. So you want to find use cases that are impactful and, and something that um, drives value because then it's easier to, to, to showcase and kind of teach the business what it means to go through these uh, these phases and then if you have something impactful and something that will create value then um, it's easier to sell and it's easier to accept and, and, and get more of the, the, the company and business to, to come along with you on this, this journey. Um, and the last thing I've written is connect initiatives to real business needs. Um, also very important you, you should you should know why am I working on something on, on different levels. As a manager why am I focusing on this initiative as a, as a BI developer, you know, why am I getting this data? As a data analyst, why am I trying to analyze this and present this? Um, all very important um, that, that you, you understand what is the business need that we're trying to support. Um, if we then go to the next phase, again, something that uh, most of you know, and that is that when you know, you know, which phase are we in, what are we trying to do, then you have to execute and, and implement. Um, and, and there's again different levels, build and deploy the platform is the first thing I've written here, which is more on, we have, got, we have to have a platform, um, but then it goes more into clear roles and ensure data quality, then we're more on governance. What does the data analyst do? What does the BI developer do? What does the data engineer do? How do we make sure that the quality that, that the platform should deliver comes through? And, and how do we engage users and, and secure adoption? Um, very important phase, uh, you know, now we're more in the project phase and uh, something that is uh, quite crucial, especially the first time you do this, to, to show that this is possible and that you can get a good turnaround and, and cadence on, on uh, iterations is also so very important during this phase. Um, and then um, measure and improve continuously. Um, definitely underestimated and uh, definitely um, something that 
you might do, but you might not showcase it. You might, uh, you might not talk about it enough, but I think that's also very important. So figure out how to measure and how do you measure progress in your initiatives. If that is KPIs that talks about you know, how many iterations have we had, how much have we delivered, there are some technical KPIs like that. Um, but I've written, um, I think usage is a, is a good KPI, just you know, something that's very easy to understand, how many people are using the, the reports or the analytics or the data product. And then try and connect the decisions or the impact of that usage to, to, a, uh, to business. Um, so that could be, again, you know, if we take sales, X number of salespeople are looking at this report on average per day, um, and, and we see that there are more um, revisions of, of how performance is being done, um, less time is being spent on consolidating data to be able to do revisions, um, or, or training, training quality has increased with more accuracy because now the, the, the sales manager understands where to, to, to find gaps in a sales, per, in a sales uh, rep's performance. So, so you can have you know, qualitative, which is adoption and number of times opening a report, something that says something about that. But you can also use, uh, use um, questionnaires and, and more, let's call it soft ways of, of measuring um, interviews and, and just, just spending time with them actually joining the meetings, seeing how they're interacting um, with the report is also very, very good. Um, and as you get that feedback, you want to learn and adjust the strategy as needed. Don't, don't have it too set in stone. Um, of course, the strategy and especially the overarching phases should, should be somewhat the same and, and you don't want to pivot you know, too much, but, but there has to be flexibility because there is flexibility in technology, there is flexibility in data, there is there are opportunities to, to make changes here and, uh, and that should, should also you know, shine through and be reflected in the strategy. Um, so keep the strategy um, dynamic, or it's supposed to say dynamic and, uh, and actionable. Um, it's, it's also a very important uh, point and, and when you can get into a a rhythm where you notice that you can measure and you can uh, adjust it it means that you're you're at, you're at a place where the team is performing um, dynamically uh, which is a good sign because then you have good processes you you know you know what you're working on you know why you're working on it you know how to change and fix and, and improve it um, so if we summarize um, in terms of the data strategy you know vision and goal before you start where are we today? The current state, you have to understand that. Target state, what does utopia look like? You know, what, what would a perfect, um, uh, perfect vision or, or state look like? You might not get there, but, but this is where we really want to get. How are, we, how are we going to get there? The roadmap implementation, now we're, we're working, we're delivering. And as we are doing that, we have to make sure to look back and, and continuously improve on what, uh, what it is that we've done so far. Thank you guys for watching. If you are working on a data initiative and want to ensure it's aligned with your strategy, I've written a full article that walks you through each of these steps in more detail. You'll find the link in the description of this video. And if you want more content on data strategy, Power BI, and Microsoft Fabric, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.